Okay. Um, so I am, um, this is going to be a new thing for me. Um, I, I'm, I'm a really good artist. I will also be linking a lot of my, uh, my Instagram, uh, stuff on the, uh, on, on the chat room. And I, um, I, I would say, I would like to say that I'm, I'm talented. If you see my stuff, you would think, um, you would think, Hey, you're, you're a talented artist. Uh, and uh, there's a part of me that would like to believe that was right, but I'm just gonna go off on the record and say I'm kind of a fraud. Uh, you know, I, I I do whatever I can to get the end result I'm looking for, um, and what the end result is is I want to draw pictures of Perfectia Dawnlight uh, to make sure that she's as beautiful as possible. And uh, yeah, and I will trace, I will reference, I will take other pictures I will copy uh, whatever it takes to get the whatever it takes to get the end result I'm looking for that's what I'm gonna do and um, I would and I think I might uh, be unapologetically just going to be sharing those secrets uh, just just to see just to show you how I've I've come to that point um, I'm gonna be using a webcam um, I'm gonna be trying to position it as as best I can uh, there might be layouts points where I'm just gonna be like not even I, I'm not even gonna be able to because I have this whole I have this whole setup. This is my webcam. Um, I also have this like thing where I'm gonna be uh, putting my uh, my uh, my webcam down. So I'll put that right side up. Uh, so uh, you can see what I'm gonna be drawing. Uh, th that's basically my whole setup. Uh, I know you can't see the webcam, but it's just a regular webcam. Um, so I guess it's going to be a little bit of, like a little bit of a tutorial, I suppose, but I'll just let you know, uh, before you sit and watch, like, uh, like probably an hour, uh, of streaming or, um, or like, uh, this, this will be a bit of a tutorial, but it's nothing special. It's... If, if you're looking for like someone with like real lying talent where he can just sketch things out in a few minutes and make a comic book within like a week, uh, that's not me. Um, I'm going to show you exactly what I do. Well, at least I'm going to tell you about it. And you could you could watch an entire audio you can watch an entire odd hour of just me making a piece. And the final result being what I want, but you're like, wow, that guy's a fraud. He just traces and uses all these pictures and copies, and he should be, you know, I get a lot of judgment from a lot of, uh, even some of my friends, like, you should be doing this all with your mind. And he was like, you should just be, you should just have an image in your head, and you should be able to just draw it out. That's, but that's not the reality. <laughs> whenever, uh, whenever I put the stuff down, it's, you know, I'm looking for an end result, and that's all I care about. Um. But I, I will use I will use my tools creatively, um, but as of right now, um, I'm not um, I'm not particularly in the mood to get super creative. I'm just I'm going to be going um, I'll be going here when I'm I'm going to show you the references that I use uh, when I need to show because I'll take stuff from the internet and I'm just going to be saying by the way I'm just going to be doing a trace out. And then I'll lay it down back here, and say, "Is okay, okay. Now we have a, now we have the architectural image that we're looking for, and we're just going to be going off from there." So, um, this video is going to be uploaded. I guess I will probably uh, make an edit where I basically uh, I'm speed running through all this stuff. Um, that's another goal I have. Uh, that's gonna I think that's gonna go good for TikTok, but I think it's important that uh, I just make regular work um so okay so here we go i think what i'm gonna do today is some uh i don't give a shit uh art and i take it i take these pieces from a uh watercolor uh artist that i really really like um i i, I can't tell your name off the top of my head but her her image is eventually gonna come up but yeah um i'm just gonna get that um, so here we go. Let's go to here. I'm gonna 
go into my Instagram. And I have these, um, <sighs> okay, so what's your name? There, there's some of our pictures right there. So these, this is where I get my, I don't give a shit, uh, art. Um, if you follow my Instagram, uh, this is, this is the girl that I usually take pictures from. Uh, and, but she does watercolor. I do sketches. So that's the big difference between me and her. Um, I will lay it out. Let me just go get my book. My girlfriend. I understand. Alright. So uh, this is my sketchbook where I keep all my um, my I don't give a shit art. And the reason why I oh sorry. Um, this is this is a sketchbook where I keep my in, um, I don't give a shit art, and the reason why I call it um, I don't give a shit art is because um, I generally don't give a shit. Sometimes, my, see, this is like what happens. This is what I make. This is what I make when I'm when I free when I completely free uh, freestyle. Uh, just try to use the image. It's not very good. I don't really like it. I think I I took this one. Uh, but if I um, let me just throw this one up. Um, I actually have kept on that one. This this came from a from another picture. Uh, this was actually from this cat girl that was on the Ellen Show. She was holding up a cat. Uh, this other just pictures where I put my character in with. This is like a cat girl, so she loves her cats. Her name is Alone Manixia. Uh, that's also her too. Um, um, so, uh, that, that's another model and this is okay so now we're finally at a picture where where we have the watercolor girl that I was just talking about um, this is another one that she did and if uh, if you look at her if you look at her stuff you can see that I'm completely just almost completely ripping off her stuff except my stuff is done with pencil and her stuff is done with watercolor that was actually taken from a uh, epic music one. That was another one of the pictures that she took. That was another. I think. Yeah. Let's base. Let's uh, let me show you this one. Let me just show you what a fraud I am. Uh, let's see if I can find that one. It's there somewhere. Is it? Yeah, it's right there. Okay. It's, Instagram is taking forever to load. But yeah, I was like, I took this one, and this is her stuff. I don't see it. But I like this one. It's there. It was a long time. It was a long time ago. But it's there. You can find it if you're willing to go down her stuff. This is um. This was actually from a. Um. This was actually from a. This was actually from uh, one of these epic music uh, videos. Uh, I listen to epic music sometimes. I, I think I'll probably be doing that again. But yeah, this is more of stuff. And I, I, I basically, yeah, the reason why I call it I don't give a shit is because I'm just kicking her shit. And um, because I don't care. I just want this, I just want this book to be full of nice art. This is my girlfriend. That was actually, this is actually one, this is actually a picture I took of a guy at the trolley station, and this is what happens when I try to just draw people just with my eyes when they're moving around everywhere, and that was the end result that happened, and uh, yeah, that's, I, I'm not like, I, I, I sometimes wonder about the legitimacy of like those videos because they, they cut out, and then he's like, oh, this is the picture I drew of you, oh, this was actually uh, one of my favorites. I got these from the Chicago uh, Institute of Art. That's my girlfriend right there. This is one I did yesterday. I haven't posted it yet, but I will. 
Uh, these are very these are very quick sketches that I just come out. I'm gonna erase them because they're so bad. But yeah, it's like um, this is what happens when I try to when I try to free uh, free sketch uh, something very very fast when someone who's just moving around all over the place. And I did the best I could, but you know, in order for me to get fine detail, I really have to get like this close to their face. Yeah, it's like. Yeah, that's okay. It's another bad picture. It's a bad picture. Bad picture. Uh, I think I did this one mostly, mostly freehand. That was one I definitely did freehand. I think I did that on a, on a train. Uh, that was actually okay. So I was taking old pictures I had of this girl. Her name is Serene. Uh, Fenrio and I was actually using someone's face the DM's face to make the goblin who is her name is Dom his name is Domino uh, There's Domino in there's Domino in um, in Serene. Serene is has a really big chest um, That was actually uh, as best I could try to freestyle try to use rulers of all these people moving around and that's why it's all it's all messed up <laughs> Uh, that was actually done freehand uh, when I was using um, I was using an art book. It was I was going through all the steps what they tell you to do, and that was the end result. You can see there's a lot of mistakes. I had to erase a lot of stuff, but and it still doesn't look like how I wanted because this character is supposed to have 55 inch hips, and she's supposed to have six foot, five foot six. And there was me trying that again. I was actually trying to do a picture of a loan. And um, it didn't work. It didn't work. And there's another picture recent of uh, that artist I just mentioned. There was another picture that she did recent. Um, that was one I just you probably I saved this one on my on my wall and I tried to recreate it. I liked it. Uh, th I think you saw this one. This was a good one. Let me just throw it down because I know that one is like there. So it's like it's like high up there. Yeah, it's like, it's like right there. So that's this is her stuff, and that's this is what I made. As you can see, I'm quite the fraud. Uh, I take their stuff and I just make a, a sketch version of it out. Uh, but that's I, I think that's what I'm gonna try to do today. That was another picture. Another picture with her. Another picture, just lazy stuff. Like I said, this is my I don't give a shit stuff. I really like that one. I haven't posted it yet, but I will. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I got. So, so now we're going to be making some oh, more I don't give a shit art. I wonder how much this sketchbook might sell for. I don't know. I am. I would like to sell it for maybe ten grand. I don't know. If anyone would like to buy it? I uh, I would send it to you and say, "Oh, this is all of Eric Burns's art." I'm just that cheap. Okay. Okay. Is better. It's still upside down though. I mean, it's better. Oh, okay. Just, just this, like so. All right, and that's not what we wanted. Nope, not even a little. What do we do? We put some tape. We got tape right here. It's very cheap, cheaply made stuff. Just tape.
Okay. But this is not very good tape, if you couldn't tell. The webcam is also very not that great either. Okay, here we go. All right, we got something. I think that works. All right. So, okay, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to take this terrible picture. We're just going to get rid of it. It's bad. It's not a good picture. And you know, when I show this, when I show somebody with this picture, I just want to see, I want to see nice art. It's not that much to ask, right? And that's what I think people want to say. So now that bad picture is gone. It's it's gone. All right. Is everything okay? My, I can't. This thing was working really well a few seconds ago, and maybe if I grab it by the by the string, that would be probably better. Because I swore I had. I, I was I was messing around with this thing and it was just so good. It had like a really good angle. And I think it might have been because it might have been because um Get it to stick. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay. Mm. Worthless. Oh, okay. Maybe that's it. No, that's even worse. It was working. It was working perfectly. Okay. This might work. Okay. That. That's not terrible. That's not terrible, actually. I like it. Okay. Yeah, we're going to go with this. You can see, I mean, 
the the camera is right in front of the, the monitor, but I can see my book just fine. So we're gonna stay with this because we, I don't even I didn't have to use tape, so this is good. So here we go. Let me just, okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to show you, okay, so I'm gonna pick up a pretty good picture. Something I like. I've already done a lot of these already. Uh, oh my gosh, that one! I could make, I could, I could draw the artist myself. Um, yeah, but this isn't a portrait. This is actually a picture. But yeah, I, I really, obviously, I really like this artist. She's very, very pretty. Um, so you know what? I think I'm just gonna draw her today. She's, she's very, very pretty. So, um, yeah, this is the one I'm going to make. She's gorgeous. She's a cute, beautiful Asian lady who's very, very talented and I have a lot of admiration for. So um, that's the one we're going to do. So here we go. Let me get a good structure where her face is. I really like these, um, I really like these, the ears that she has, these beautiful ears. I, I'm weird, uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. I, I, I have a thing for ears. Just gotta use my phone. I don't know, I don't predict anyone will show up today uh, on my live stream, but uh, I'm just gonna monitor it today. Um, I'm also going to post a link for my, I'm going to post a link to my Instagram, uh, so you can see my stuff. So yeah, let's go. Okay. Well, I'm pretty good with hair. You ever notice sometimes when you're like when you're about to get to work, it's like well, that's when all your body functions start just coming back. Like you get hungry, you get thirsty. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh, that's what she did. But I'm gonna do something different. This is because I usually I've been ripping off her style, and I'm just gonna make a portrait of her of the portrait she made. Not saying she's more, I'm more talented than her, but I I greatly respect what she does because man I gotta tell you she can just flesh these things I don't I don't know because she she does she does speed run some of these herself as well, um, but yeah I'm just like wow you're you're really good you can really use that watercolor.
like in a way that I didn't even know anyone could just use watercolor like that. And her stuff is just like, is like somewhere between portrait and abstract. And I've always just drawn it like, like that. Yeah, but unfortunately all my body functions, all my body functions are unfortunately just saying, oh yeah, by the way, since you're, at, since you're working, we're going to tell you that you're hungry. We're going to tell you that you're tired. We're going to tell you that you're irritated. We're going to tell you you have more important things to do, like fucking around on the internet, reading bad tweets, and playing World of Warcraft. No, nothing against World of Warcraft, by the way. Uh, I love the crap out of that game, but I need to do more important things. I need to be a productive person. So we are just going to go here. Just trying to get we're just trying to get a layout of like where her her body where her facial facial features are and I'm feel like I'm gonna have a lot of fun with um I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of fun with um with uh this like all this all this fur right here because I really like drawing hair that's where you can go kind of crazy but I, yeah, I really like to do hair. <sighs> yeah, it's not going to be obvious. Well, actually, we're going to get cl as close as I can to an exact duplicate. And now that we have like our architectural structure, where we generally want things to be uh we're gonna i'm gonna start going into detail and as you can see it doesn't doesn't take that long let's just get the architectural structure down but unfortunately this is instagram so you can't zoom in but guess what we're gonna do i'm gonna show you how much of a fraud i am We're gonna go here, we're gonna get a screenshot. No, we're not gonna use that, we're gonna use Photoshop. Other pictures I use yeah okay so this is this is perfect his back and perfect his arm and I always use this model to to show that but because Instagram doesn't let you zoom in we're going to get Photoshop to do it for us Uh, I need to take off my glasses. I know you can't see that, but um, I'm uh, I'm I'm nearsighted, so and I always do this thing where I I I like to draw the um, the reflection first, and I base everything off of that because that's. 
almost literally where the eyes become mirrors is in that white reflection that's even that's within the pupil. But this isn't a this isn't a very good this isn't a, isn't, a, isn't even a very good photograph. This is like a it's like a blurred version. And sometimes I'll go into sometimes I'll even go into detail and I'll I'll completely fall off the architectural structure that I envisioned in the first place. Yeah, I'm I'm seeing it right now already. Like I'm I'm at the pupil at this point and it's like it's like um and I'm I'm seeing I'm I might just be going off. Okay. So here we go. Yeah, okay, I'm seeing somebody. So here. And if you ask me, um, what really makes those eyes stick out is like you have to, your darkest lines need to be right there on the pupil. So your, I guess you kind of like your viewer will just be drawn into the darkest areas. And when you look at when you look into somebody's eyes, it feels like it's alive. So, what you want to do is first you want to get some good light. Shit. Okay, for the most part, we're staying on the architectural structure, but sometimes we fall off, and that's fine too. All that matters is the end result, I, I think. Phone. 
Okay, I do this thing where um I will use my um my mechanical pencil as a ruler because I usually want eyes to um to be on a, the same length. But it looks like I'm not gonna get that result. Holy shite. I don't know. I'm just gonna measure it. I'm actually measuring the uh Okay, still. Okay, so we have to do it. We we are gonna come completely off the original um architectural structure that we have. It's gonna be completely off. And we are yeah, this I'm gonna, I'm not gonna say that it wasn't a waste of time, but it kind of is. Okay. And I'm gonna to have to use my eye to make, because it looks like the, um, it looks like half of it is like, like the, the length of this eye is like half. And this is like, well, this is also like my first time live streaming art. So I'm like, maybe I'm just like a little nervous. You're going to get some stage fright from me, even though I don't have any viewers yet. We're going to upload it anyway, so you never know. And I won't be doing much editing, so I don't know if I said the F word uh, more than a few times. I did say I was a fraud. Uh, I don't know if I said F, the F word um, before that. And I won't know until YouTube tells me something. Hey, stop using the F word because they're kids. Or we're going to put a mature rating on your, on your video. I'm not, I guess on a good day, I probably would, would just continue to just keep making detail, but I want to keep this under an hour. We, could, we came completely off the architectural structure. And we are putting a nose right where we didn't even intend it to. So instead of it being over here, it's going to be over here because we were we went off our judge of detail. And sometimes when you do this, and I've done this before, my, my portions will be completely off. And that's going to make me nervous. Because now we're gonna have a picture that's gonna that's gonna be like where it's gonna have like areas where things are in the wrong place. Because sometimes when you do these when you do these um, yeah this 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 is this is even close. If the image turns out too, it's really it's really better if your image comes out too uh, too big than it does if it's too small. Because I think a few pictures I have there was like because it's 
it's not really it's not really there it's not you're not trying to recreate their make a perfect copy you're kind of trying to trying to make it your own but so if it falls off and you make something if you if you focus on like me I'll, I'll try to focus on eyes see I completely fell out fell away from the architectural structure that I intended sometimes the art would just do that So the, I'm seeing, I'm doing a measurement on the nose and it looks like it starts right here, like right where the eye is. Yeah, but this is me just using my eyes. Sometimes I'll do a trace. Lady has some big nostrils, or maybe it's just the, uh, it's where the, where the camera's angled. I hope it's not too insulting. Oh, that's too big. Maybe that's a little bit better. The nostril's too big. We are not trying to make fun of her. This is a very pretty lady. Okay, where does the nose start peaking? A phone call. Oh. So Speedy Cash has been calling me about every month or so. Maybe sometimes, sometimes every week. And they're asking me, hey, you want some more money from us? I mean, I took out some money um, to pay my rent. Uh, and it, and I, and I did. And I was like, I need the money then. And they were like, hey, do you want some more money? And I was like, no, thanks, but no thanks. I, I um, you know, I, I got some money from y'all. And I paid a little interest. Um, and thank you for that because I need the money then but now I don't so please stop calling me maybe I just I don't know I need attention I'm trying to get attention you know so um, maybe I, I'm like the kind of guy who just like needs like attention so even even telemarketers that just call and say hey do you want to buy this and I'm like no but thanks for calling Yeah, let's get rid of some of these lines as we fell off the architectural structure that we planned. I hope that nose doesn't look too bad. <sighs> this girl has, most Asian women have very small lips. They have like these almond shaped heads and these, you know, big eyes and these almond and these, you know, lemon shaped eyes. Sometimes they like, like, they kind of remind me of almonds sometimes. Some of these pictures I, I draw, like I think there's one here, but that's not the one. So this where is it? Yeah, this one. 
this one right here didn't didn't even come out as a um this was actually started out with an asian woman but when it came out when it was finished it was like completely and the guy the girl looked really caucasian and i think that's what might happen with this picture And that's okay too. I guess I suppose sometimes it's okay to lose complete control of the art. And it just comes out in a way that you didn't even think would come out. I don't know if you ever, I don't know if there are any writers that write, but sometimes you'll be writing, you have a, you have a story structure and then you start writing and then what you what you plan on writing doesn't even come out, just but something else comes out. And I think that's Stephen King talks about that. He talks about like, you know, that you know, I don't always have complete control over what comes out of my out of my brain creatively, and I just I'm just the arbiter of the of the creativity. I just and the, whatever comes to me, I don't know where it comes from, but it comes from somewhere and I just Throw it out there. Yeah, I'm just like a vessel. Uh, I think that's ridiculous. <laughs> um, I think there are sometimes there are stories you want to tell. And you tell it, but you can't just say, it's like, well, you can't just sit there. It seems like you're just, you know, you're, you're moving into victim mode. Like, yeah, I'm sorry you didn't like the way it came out, but that's just how it was written. That's just how it came out. I guess... People that are really insane uh, probably think like that. But yeah, for Christ's sakes, man, sometimes they just come out with some really good stuff. But I don't know. I was I was listening to Stephen King talk about talk to George R. Martin, and George R. Martin was saying, hey, "With the time it takes me to write a chapter, you write two books." And I was like, and they're both like holding each other in, in certain admiration. And Stephen King was like, "Yeah, well." your stuff is very well polished and he said it right there I was like what I do is I make I make a piece of I make I every single day rain or rain or snow I will write one page and I don't care what it is I don't care if it's good or bad it's it just needs to be something uh, but George R. R. Martin he'll do research he'll re-edit he'll he like all this stuff is just a well polished um a well polished machine while I'm, I'm not saying that stephen king's stuff is like not well polished um but it does come out in a way that's just like almost industrially um fixed like i, I don't know I, I read some i read some novels every now and then and you can kind of tell that this this particular author isn't even writing uh, with a plan. She's just writing because it, it, whatever is going to come out just came out. And people, I guess, people that, um, I guess publishers, you know, they want regular work. And when you're a paid author, um, you know, you just have, and you already have made a main name for yourself. They just want you to come out with something. And they don't, they don't care if it's good or bad. They just want something. And I think, um, I think what difference between George R. R. Martin and, and, uh, and Stephen King does is Stephen King will try to come out with something. He doesn't care if it's bad or good, but George R. R. Martin, he's trying to tell a story that, he, that he wants to read. He himself wants to read. I was like, I'm, I was like, I love this story so much that I will reread it like 20 times because I just love, I just love the characters so much. And that's, that's what I think was different between the two. It was like one really likes writing and one really likes the characters, if you ask me. Um, I, I, I would say that I'm, I've been more of a character lover than I have a art lover. Which is why I always draw perf perfectia. Um, 
she's um, she's a yeah she's a fan fiction character, and my love for Perfectia stems from my love for World of Warcraft and the lore, but I don't know. It's like I I really wish they would hire me on as a as a writer, and or they would let me um, they would let me um, you know I guess like rewrite their lore so I can put my awesome character in there, but you know that's never gonna happen. Um, not, not unless a bunch of stock work, stock, um, people just start saying, Hey, uh, that, that artist who draws, we, he says he wants to write. Okay. Now we're getting to the good part. It's, I don't know. I don't even think she looks Asian anymore. <laughs> okay. But at least we have a, we have a structure now, like on the face. So all we have to do now is just do shading. I'm kind of happy with that. I'm sorry if you think this is insulting. Um, I don't know if you're going to check out this video. I will tag the real artist this time because this is her, but... This big old thing right here. Got these ones. This big old face comes all the way down to the ear. Oh, it even comes across this the necklace, the um, the earring that she has. We don't want this to be a. We just want this to be a single stroke, not a. So let's put this down. <clears throat> now this girl has brown eyes, not, not blue. All oh, right, can't do that. So I'm going to really darken in the eyes. And the. The eyelashes. Like all, all this right here is just like very, very dark. And I'm gonna make something that looks, makes a, a figment of brown. What time is it? Okay. So I gotta go to therapy soon, hopefully. This art looks good enough for you. I would say always start with the eyes because that's where most of your um, most of your eyes. I, you want you want the you want the, the the viewer to have a personal relationship with the piece that he's looking at, and I think the closest way to do that is to focus on the eyes. Sometimes when they, when you have a picture like that and it's sitting in your house, it gives you the creeps. I, get, I, I think I would get rid of this. 
I would sell the sketchbook for ten thousand dollars. Let's work on the other eye. Like I said, you want these eyes to have like the strong like a strong dark darkness to them as dark as you can get it dark it's in the darkest dark times infinity death clock are brown they're not they're not not blue So yeah, we're gonna erase that because um, looks like looks like here that the um, the white blend. Okay, so let me show you this because I'm just gonna show you that um, the white the white here blends in. So we're just gonna get rid of that from here. But I think I'm going to end it here because I'm going on an hour of record recording and um, I will finish this. Um, I will post it. But yeah, this is like my this is an hour of work, um, an hour video. So I, I don't want to keep these videos any longer than that. But uh, hey, like and subscribe. Maybe join the stream when I post it on Twitter. Um, I think I'll probably uh, start. I think I'll buy the. The upgraded version where uh, it'll, it'll stream on every single platform but yeah Just, um, that's me